Okay, told you I'd be back. This was supposed to be here two days ago. It's the Yuffie indoor cam, and it looks like I'm not sure if this is one the right one or not. It's an AI, so uh, it's 1080p resolution. I thought I ordered a 2K. Maybe it goes in both. We'll see. I just now opened this. I thought everything was on and running, and it wasn't. Seeing how. Took me forever. To get this uh to get my not computer but the um trans transmission and receiving on my computer, um what was happening is it was bogging down and, and clogging up the uh the tech that came out here, he tested it and he goes, that's a crappy signal. That was his exact words. And I was like, yeah, no kidding. And then he, uh, and he checked some things and there was a cable that was on there that I didn't put on there. Um, but he says that was probably part of it and probably part of, uh, the people around here having problems because it was a thinner cable. And I'm like, uh, I don't buy that. Sorry, but I don't buy it. <laughs> anyway. So let's see. Yep, this is pretty interesting. Uh, you got your um, micro SD card right here. Let's see if I can turn this where I can. Micro SD card will go in there. And this is supposed to be able to track you and everything. And. What we're going to do is set it up first. I have my micro SD card here. Yeah, what I was saying, if, if by chance uh, it was snowing, I'd get a bunch of these, even if they didn't work, and put them by my barbecue grill. Have a whole bunch of whole family family of R two D twos. Anyway, it's supposed to be simple to set up. And if that one's back like that, it'll be gone this afternoon. Okay. Oh, uh, this is your uh, micro USD and your um, reset there. Let's see what happens. And it actually comes with mounting your mounting kit with some screws and. Uh, And a base plate. I wonder why that wouldn't work. I have to check on that later. That's that's brand new. And this is plugged in.
I'm just checking it to see what's going on. It's supposed to track you and everything. And I'll probably have to play with it a little bit. Let's go ahead and add this camera. Okay. So I went into Eufy. I'll hit add device. And if you pan tilt, and it's got your placement guidelines and so forth. Your next input manually. I think it wants me to scan the bottom. Got it. Now it says enter setup mode. So you a beep, and it beep. And the status LED, turn to flashing blue, heard the beep. Yes, I don't care if it uses my Bluetooth for now. Connecting to camera. It was that easy. Okay. Now. One of the things that I haven't mentioned yet, I'm going to have to put this uh, my password in here. Connecting to the Wi-Fi network. Please wait. Yeah, be connecting. One of the things I wanted to mention is if they come in to fix your uh, your computer. Setup was successful. Good. If they came in to fix your computer and everything. Um, And they happen to point put a uh, five gigahertz router in. These will not work with five gigahertz. So hopefully you can go into your router and turn it down to four point two. That's exactly what I had to do. I thought I'd lost everything. I'd gone crazy. I mean my my uh, light switch in my bedroom wouldn't work. None of my cameras would work. None of my sockets would work. And I was like, oh, man. I was thinking, why would someone do that, you know? And uh, then I started thinking about it. I says, I hope this router has where I can actually turn it down. And this was the next day. So I went into it. And thank goodness it did. Because I was like, about to call him up and say, you come pick up this router, give me my old one. I don't, well, I still got the old one, switch the old one back because I wasn't about to put out a lot of money for, uh, just to get a better signal and so forth. That, that wasn't flying with me. <laughs> but when I got in there, all I had to do was turn off the, uh, five gigahertz. And uh, it left the uh, 
it left me with the uh, 4.2 no micro USD card detected let's fix that real quick and you can see all the uh, IR lights maybe you can maybe you can't Hit check again. Format so it is. It does know that the micro USD card is in there. And it says it'll take about a minute. Take it, and it's at ninety-nine percent already. So less than a minute. Formatting successfully. Format this one. Okay, it tells you where you can put it on top of a staircase, table, or shelf. If I didn't value my uh, my beautiful um, deep freeze. I put it right on here because <laughs> it matches the color scheme and you can put these on a ceiling also and it can be uh, rotated 180 degrees let's connect and see kind of wild okay so your controls are here you can uh, turn it that way you can turn it this way cut the screenshot Come up here, and it's got eight LED lights for uh, night vision. We're going to turn off the status lights because you don't want status lights on, do you? What I'm trying to do is get it to kind of follow me. What I'm doing now is I'm calibrating it. Let's see what happens. I have one of these by a different company. And it used to always face the wall no matter what. It drove me crazy. I'm stamping logo. We got that. Now for uh, controls for this, um, activity zones. You can set your activity zones, which I'm not going to set right now because I'm in my living room. But you can see how you can set them. What I do is put it in another place there, but
and there it caught a ugly picture of me. It'll go in 360 degrees. Which is pretty cool. You can turn your sound on and off. I just now turned mine off because I could hear feedback. Let's see, what else comes on here? Motion detection. Uh, I've got it set for person. Uh, you can set it for pets and all other motion. And I've got mine set at medium. We can hit motion tracking. You can put sound detection on it. If you're like a crying baby and such. Pet command. So if you're going out to work or something, and uh, you know your pet's climbing up on your couch, but you can never catch him, uh, you can put a zone around your couch, and when your pet gets on it, it'll notify you, and you can say, "Get off there." It'll continuously record. Video quality, uh, full HD is what it's set to right now. Streaming quality is auto, but you can go full HD or 1080p. And I think I'll just keep it on full HD for now. And it will take up to 128 gigabyte storage. Um, time settings, hmm. It must have done that automatically because it's at Mountain Standard Times Phoenix. And it's got your mounting guide. Your uh, you can share the device with a neighbor. You can restart it uh, about the device. It shows your model number, your serial number, um, system version, your IP address, your MAC address. Let's hit notification. Okay. Let's set for person, pet, all of their motion, crying, all sounds. I know I'm going to get tired of that. And set for full effect. Most efficient is uh, get notifications. Uh, without delay, only text included. The uh, full effect is uh, get text notifications first, and then uh, thumbnail included if available. And then you've got another one, include thumbnail, get full text notification including uh, text and thumbnail if available. And you got motion alerts. I've got it set for uh, default, but you can go silent, you can give it a bell, a chain, a ding, a notify, security, success, and type. Okay, and I set my uh,
I'm going to set this interval time. down to zero. I've got set for per, uh, person, pet, all other motions, crying, all sound. You can put it on continuously, continuous recording. Uh, if you have 128 gig uh, micro USD or 28 gig micro SD card in it, you can get uh, 12 days, 288 hours if you have it continuously record. And I'm wondering I'm going to put that on continuous and storage. I'm going to go local storage. Now I could put it on my cloud storage if I wanted to. But I'm not going to need that. <coughs> and the good thing is, it's right on top. Camera on, I can turn it off. See, if you watch this thing, watch this. That's following me. Let's see if I can get it to and it should have it's got a speaker on each side. Now what I want to do So I'm going to see if it'll pick me up when I walk in. Okay, so let's see what happens. Yep. It caught me right away. Now all I have to do is find out how to get it to notify me and then we'll get back to you with that because I want to notify me if someone walks in front of it. But if it doesn't, that doesn't that's no good to me. So we'll get back to you in a little bit after I read some directions and see how to get it to notify. Man, you can really see those lights on there, can't you? Okay, I'll get back to you on how to get notified in a little bit. Okay, I said I'd be back, and I am back, and it is working. 
I decided. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. I put it up higher over the speakers and stuff. And it connects to, you can connect it to uh, Alexa and Google. So that's pretty cool in itself. And it works really well. I didn't have to make any adjustments for it to uh, sound any alarm. It did it automatically. Let's see if I can get it to do it again real quick. And so y'all can see and hear what it sounds like. I'll just leave my phone. down here and we'll see what happens. How about that? Now we're testing the uh, indoor. It's following me. Now. <laughs> I left the, the phone in here while I went outside. Yep. It caught it. Wow. It says there's a person at your front door. Motion detected at the front door cam. And that's by Wise and Ring. And Yuffie, and as I came back in, it says, uh, someone has been, living room, someone has been spotted. And it even took a selfie of me. And that is a good thing. And there's a reason why that's a good thing. Well, it can be a bad thing, too. Because I have it set up. We got it set up uh, to actually take a selfie and then uh, actually notify me, take a selfie, and no, go to Amazon. Basically, it's just the opposite of what um, Wise cameras were doing. From what I understand, Wise was going, was uh, if they detected something, would send to Amazon, and then it would come back, and that was the, uh, the delay and everything. So, and this one kind of does it out of a different sequence, to where it notifies you first, and takes a selfie if it's possible, and then goes to... Uh, Amazon. So I guess that's it. That's that was so easy to set up and piece of cake. And uh, what I like is I can turn it off also, just like I can turn off uh, my other cameras at the same time. And you know because you don't want to be walking around in your living room and have uh, people watching you. You know that'd be just or in your bedroom and have people watching you. Ew. <laughs> so anyway.
Okay, I'm back. I hope y'all enjoyed this and got something out of it. And uh, if you did, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and and uh, stay safe. If you're in a warm place, go swimming. If you're in a cold place, stay warm. And love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.